The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at his customs post. He said to him, follow me. And leaving everything behind, Levi got up and followed Jesus. Then Levi gave a great banquet for Jesus in his house and a large crowd of tax collectors and others were at table with them. The Pharisees and the scribes complained to his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus said to them in reply, Those who are healthy do not need a physician, but the sick do. I have not come to call the righteous to repentance, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. In Lent, all the readings are little lessons in morality, just like this morning. The first reading was a lesson in morality. I remember, uh, what, you know, the question is, is where do we get our sense of morality? Usually, I think it comes from greatly from our parents. And I remember a couple of them. When I was um, maybe nine or 10 years old, uh, there were a lot of kids living in my family home. My, my parents took in for a number of years four small foster children. So there were seven children living in the family house when I was a kid. One day, after my mother returned from home, she was unpacking the groceries and I spied some chocolate covered cookies that she brought home. And uh, when I saw where she put them, I, I stealed away and sneaked the whole pack of cookies. My mother was sharp. She was sharp as a tack and she spied me taking them. Well, let me tell you, in no uncertain terms, I remember it very clearly. I was punished, really punished. And I was ashamed of myself and I was embarrassed because it happened in all in front of all those kids. And the lesson was a lesson in greed and gluttony. A good lesson to learn. My father taught me a lesson in how to be courageous. He, the lesson came not by what he said, but what he did. In the 60s, in the 1960s, my dad was the mayor of the little town over in Bay St. Louis, and he appointed the first African-American man to be, to hold the, the position of chief of police. Well, let me tell you, it caused an uproar in that town. Hate mail, I remember very well that hate mail began to arrive at the town when the phone rang, sometimes I'd answer it, and there would be uh, vicious people on the other end of the phone. And I remember this very clearly at one point. My dad received an anonymous letter in the mail, and he showed all of us in, in the house that somebody was threatening to burn down our house. But my father and our family took all of that in stride. Nobody died, nobody got hurt. And that man was chief of police for over 30 years in Basin. That was a great lesson for me to learn in social justice. So today, Jesus entrust, in, instruct us, instructs us in the moral way. But the question is, is how do he learn that? Do you, sometimes we think that the ideas were infused into Jesus by the Heavenly Father. Maybe so. But I'd like to suggest, perhaps, that he learned those powerful lessons of morality from his mother and his father, Joseph. See, the family is primary in the church. From it, we learn the most meaningful lessons, long-lasting lessons, lessons of goodness and morality and loving our enemies. And so on this Lenten day, let us offer our intercessory prayers. Let us pray for the sanctity of family life, 
that as the domestic church, all families may be a schoolhouse of great goodness and morality. For this we pray to the Lord. Let us pray that our observation of the season of Lent may be disciplined in holy thinking. For this we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for those who suffer from mental illness, especially those who are homeless in downtown Biloxi, that they may be given clarity of mind and soundness of judgment by the Father. For this we pray to the Lord. And for what else shall we pray this morning? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the intention of our Mass this morning. This Lenten Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Prince B. Balkan. May he rest in peace. For this we pray to the Lord. O oh, gracious Father, for the discipline you inspire us in Lent, and for the lessons taught to us in morality through the Lenten scriptures, we give you thanks. We ask you to hear us, for we pray all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 